a new note on the lectures of Tab and Jahar, lectures of Harvard on positive psychology, and some new aspects which are uh, wonderful about uh, these uh, classes. Uh, I mentioned the reference to movies, comedies, uh, old uh, Jewish folk tales, and not just Jewish, another one comes to mind, uh, the story of, um, of an ancient uh, old man, uh, which comes into uh, another movie. Uh, Charlie Wilson's War towards the end, it's told by Philip uh, Seymour Hoffman. Um, there's this man who has a son, a horse. I'm not saying the story exactly as it is, in fact I think there are also versions of it. Um, so the horse runs away. The people of the village express regret. Oh, it's so bad. We'll see. Uh, the wild horse comes back with the horse comes back with uh, some wild horses. Oh, you're so lucky! The village is uh, cheering now. You have uh, quite a few horses. We'll see. Um, indeed, riding, trying to tame to ride one of these horses, the son falls and he has a broken leg. Uh, after. Uh, Happiness, there's again sorrow. Oh, so bad for you. Well, see. The army people come to uh, take uh, uh, peasants from villages into the service, uh, which is not something they want, and it's done forcefully. But because the son uh, had this injury, it's not uh, taken away. So, there's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, joy expressed by the neighbors. But the same thing over and over again. We shall see. Because it goes on, goes on, and it points out to the fact that you never know. One uh, apparently sad event uh, tends to uh, have a, this, a, a silver lining, like in that movie, the silver, silver lining playbook. Uh, there's always, a cloud always has a, a civil line. Um, in his lectures, Tal ben of refers to studies and research, research um, not just often, almost all the time. Uh, these stories and other material are punctuated by reference to the works of others and um, to research. Uh, earlier on, I was listening to one of his notes and um, uh, addresses to the students, and he referred to uh, Daniel Gilbert, another Harvard professor and uh, psychologist, to his work Stumbling Upon Happiness, and then also to Ed Dinner. Uh, there is a, f uh, a feeling that we will be happy regarding one event or another and then also uh, there are things we are afraid that will uh, destroy our uh, well-being forever and we turn out to be wrong. Um, we think that if we move to California we'll be uh, forever uh, satisfied and once there it turns out it's not like that. If we get this job, if we get that car or house or the money. But uh, studies after studies show that uh, it's not true. It's a phenomenon called uh, hedonic adaptation. And it applies also to um, lottery winners. They have been studied and it was shown that indeed for some months uh, they were happy um, winning. We're talking here more than a million dollars. Uh, winning so much money, but then uh, they return to the base level of happiness, to the level of happiness they have had before. And um, uh, such research and other uh, studies have proven that once um, uh, income 
goes beyond the level, it's, it doesn't make such a big difference uh, in the world of the problem Jahar, if you live in, Sha in a chateau or you just uh, have a regular house. He, he keeps giving his own uh, uh, examples, um, um, he refers to his own life, uh, he speaks about the money he received uh, starting with a check of $1,000 per month and how happy he was and now he's joking that I make 300 stops uh, like saying he's making $300,000 but he's not mentioning the figure it probably was a, a joke uh, but who knows that? I don't think he makes $25,000 uh, a month but maybe he does That's, uh, that would put him in, uh, the, on a par with him. Uh, president of the U.S., but that's not uh, I mean, unusual in the U.S. Many people make much more CEOs and uh, whatnot. Well, wonderful lectures.